Okay, so we're going to begin this video by showing you my character in Enshrouded, and I'm going to show you the base that I have been building, and then we're going to go over some tips and tricks and my own personal recommendations for the game and things like that. So, the first thing I want to say about this game, don't cheese it. This game is very fun to play as it is currently, and it is early access, so there's a lot of changes still coming. Um, it is incredibly easy to cheat in this game, and very easy to cheese pretty much all of the monsters. Um, no battle in this game is actually challenging. If you come to this game from playing Elden Ring, you'll find this game to be incredibly easy. There, there will be no challenge for you. I did not have a single challenging fight in this entire game yet. But even, even with that, it's still a lot of fun. The AI on the monsters is just terrible. Um, they're very buggy. A lot of the times they'll just kind of like get stuck around the terrain and not move very well and you can almost you can almost outwalk all of the enemies like they they'll come at you to attack and then they will stop so they can swing and when they do that you can just sidestep them and they'll miss you completely like it's very easy um, <clears throat> but it again it's very easy to cheat in this game because you can loot treasure chests repeatedly um, over and over until you get all of the items that that chest will give you and I highly recommend not doing that because it will take away from your experience it will ruin the game for you it is not fun to do and with that um, Let's get started with this video. I'm really sick right now, but I wanted to make this video anyways. So, this is the current house that I have. I, I haven't really put a whole lot of time into building yet, because I, I got about 80 hours in this game, and I was just exploring the world. You can see my map is almost all uncovered. So, I spent most of this time just exploring and uncovering everything that I could um, so yeah I haven't put a whole lot of time into building yet but now that I've basically beat the game because I've done everything I can really do right now now I can kind of focus on building and I, I'm I can't wait for more features to come to the game especially end game features because right now when you get to the point I'm at there's really no reason to keep playing like there's no incentive to keep playing other than just building which the building is fun but it's still lacking a little bit but here's my bathroom I made do it together really quick got my upstairs which you saw already my little dining area and there's my flame, which is maxed out, my little, my current farming area. See, the thing is, water is very difficult to come by in this game. You don't need to create this many water wells, but I find it just simpler to have them instead of constantly, because a lot of people will use a well and then pick it up and then put it back down like this. I'll show you. So now you can't scoop any more water, but if you pick it up and place it back down again, you can scoop more water. So a lot of people will cheese the game by doing that, which you, you, I mean, it is what it is. If you can only, if you only have one water well and you need water, then you know that's cool. But it, I find it just way easier to just make a bunch of these and then just go up and down the line, and you'll end up with like a hundred water in a minute. So it gives you more than enough. This is my area that I put my NPCs in. I gave them their own little open bathroom. <laughs> it's unisex. <clears throat> my uh, treasure room. 
now we got go up into my tower. I got my alchemist with his own little area. Keep going up. In case you're wondering where my castle is, I made a floating castle. See, look at that. My castle is in the sky. I started down here. <clears throat> if you want to make your own floating castle, which now you can't, it's so high up that it doesn't really show the whole thing. But anyways, you need two flames, so you can go into your crafting, you need two flame altars, and you can place a flame altar, make a staircase, place another flame altar, and then go back down, delete the first one, and then rinse and repeat all the way up until you get as high as you want to go. So you just need two flame altars and some materials to build some uh, stairs, and you can go, you can go up. and That's an easy way to get around this whole game. So like one of the best spots to have is over here in the pillars of creation, <clears throat> because you can glide to almost anywhere in the game pretty easily from being this high up. So you can come up here, and if you want. You could do the same thing here, building the stairs all the way up as high as it can go and build your castle way up there, and then you'll be able to glide to anywhere in the game. <clears throat> so this is the Pillars of Creation, which if you're... See, there's the Cinder Vault where you start at. So that's the start of the game right down there on the bottom left. Right? See it glowing right there? That's the start of the game. So go up there you'll see this up here that's the pillars of creation I highly recommend putting a, a flame altar up here because then you can get to pretty much anywhere you want to go very nice to have but all you need is two I always try to make sure that I have at least two flame altars available That way you can make your stairs because if you're going to end up in situations where you're going to need to climb up some steep cliffs and stuff and you're going to have a heck of a time because you can use your pickaxe, you know, and you can create stairs by digging into the ground and you're going to end up doing that. So you can like do this and then go, you know, up a little bit, make another step and then, you know what I mean? So, you're going to end up in situations where you're going to do that, but it's just easier if you have two flame altars and you just make stairs, and then you can, you can get anywhere in the game. Like, nothing is off limits as long as you have two flame altars and some materials to build some stairs. You can get absolutely anywhere. Um, you can cheese the whole game by doing that. Uh, I've seen other videos of... I highly recommend not doing this. Don't cheese the treasure chests. I really hope they put a timer on some treasure chests so you can't rinse and repeat. And because a lot of people, I'll, I'll just show you what I'm talking about real quick. But don't don't do this. We'll do. We'll go to this one. I didn't do this until I already beat everything that I could beat in the game. Once I like beat everything, I had nothing else to do. Then I was cheesing the treasure chests, but until I actually beat everything, I did not, I did not cheat at all. So a lot of people will do this, where they, they loot that treasure chest, return to main menu, go back in, <clears throat> do do do, rinse and repeat. A lot of people will sit here and farm this chest over and over and over again. And and you can get here as a starting level character, you can get here and do this. It it is very easy, especially if you have two flame altars, you can make stairs from the starting location, the cinder fault. You can make stairs back and forth. I mean it'll take you a little while because you're gonna have to keep doing the flame altar trick. But you can literally build stairs all the way over here. And you, you can run there but it'll be a lot harder to run there because then you're going to have to go all around the map. But 
you can cheese it so easily by having two flame altars and just making stairs all the way across the map until you get to this treasure chest. Just straight over and boom, there it is. And then you can cheese it over and over and over. And as a starting level character, you're going to be like practically invincible right from the start of the game. Which is very, very boring because again, the monsters in this game are very dumb. The AI is terrible. Nothing in this game, even when I had no, like when I had starting equipment, I never had a challenge. The, like, there's no reason to cheese this game because none of the monsters are difficult. <clears throat> the only difficult monster I would say is the dragons when they surprise you. There's these little, yeah, those little bastards up there. See that? Because they'll sneak up on you and they hit like a truck so they can one shot your ass. And when they do that, that's annoying, but only because they hit so hard. Other than those dragons, like, getting you from behind, nothing in this game really poses a challenge right now. It's very, very easy, so I highly recommend don't cheese it. <clears throat> and, uh, let's see, what, what else? What else did I want to go over? I had, I had a, I should have wrote down my, the points that I wanted to talk about because now I'm forgetting where I was going with that. The elixir wells. <clears throat> the elixir wells and the shroud roots are very, I mean, that's how you can get some easy points right from the get-go, especially the shroud roots. Um, the elixir wells are going to be a little bit tougher because you're going to have to battle through some monsters and stuff, but you, if you have a glider, you can get these shroud roots so easily and just get some uh you'll be able to get some points to get some skills like with no challenge at all really because you can glide right into most of those drop right down on it chop it down and then boom you got some points so let me let me see i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go to one The only thing that you're going to need is to level up your flame altar to where you can actually um, get into these shroud roots. But, like this one over here, the bottom one, you have to level up your flame altar. But if you do, and then you get to it, it's just easy points because there's no monsters to fight. You just go in there and chop it down, and then boom. And a lot of them are like that. I think this one over here was like that too. I think you could just drop in on it. I might be misremembering. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was this one. So, drop down here. And then it's right over there. Just come in here. Look at that. Easy points. I already got it, so I can't get more points from it. But see? Easy points. Jump in there. Good to go. And then one... Oh, that, I remember what I was going to talk about. So one of the other things you can do is when you're exploring the shroud... Let's come down in here. If you're exploring the shroud, you're in here, your timer's getting low. Again, very easy to cheese this. I only do this when I'm farming materials, um, just because it's, you know, if that, you know, that's all I'm doing is all I'm doing is getting shroud wood or shroud liquid or something. I'll come in here, I'll grab some, you know, cool, I got what I want, and then you can return to main menu. do <clears throat> come back in the game and then boom we respawned out of the shroud so now we're back out of the shroud and we're back to the last flame altar I was at so if you're running out of time and you're about to die and you really don't want to die just leave the game come back in boom you respawned at your flame altar and you're out of the shroud. I really hope they fix that because 
I think cheesing the game by just going to the main menu and logging back in, I think it really takes away from the game. I think it ruins it. Um, again, I didn't cheese the game. I didn't cheat. I didn't do any of these things until I got to where I'm at now at level 25. So now I'm level 25. I've done everything. I have nothing to really keep playing for. So at this point, it doesn't really matter what I do. But when you're leveling in the game and you're enjoying the game your first time around, I, I highly recommend not messing around with cheating and stuff because you'll get very bored very quickly and you're going to end up hating the game. So don't, don't do that. Like getting the Ghost Glider. You can get this at level 1. Like when you very first start the game, you can get this. Again, get the two flame altar deal. Same thing, you can build your staircase all the way over. Just go up high, and then all the way over. And then you can come down here to this bottom right flame sun temple, put a flame altar down, and then you can climb to the top and get the ghost glider. I mean, that would be one thing that I might do, is just getting the ghost glider, just because it's nice to have. But other than that, I, I wouldn't cheat at all on anything else in this game so yeah that's what I got for this video uh, let me know what you think um, like subscribe comment I would appreciate some interaction uh, I would like to know what kind of other videos you would like me to go over um, with this game um, but yeah okay until next time have a good one